Hey you guys, welcome to my, I was gonna say welcome to my chicken. Welcome to my kitchen, we're gonna talk about chicken. Pretty much everybody eats chicken because it's high in protein, it's relatively inexpensive, and they get sick of it. I get sick of it too. There's two reasons you get sick of it. One is because of the flavor, and two is because of the texture. So a lot of people don't like chicken because they don't cook it right. So my point of today's video is to teach you how to cook chicken that you actually want to eat. Because if you want to be healthy and you want to get your protein in, you need to eat a lot of chicken. So let me teach you how to cook it the right way so that it stays juicy. Doesn't that sound good? If your chicken breasts are juicy, you'll want to eat them. So watch along. Grab a wide mouth, flat bottom jar, and you're going to push on them to make them even thickness from one end to the other. And once they're pretty flat there, you're just gonna add salt and pepper. First things first, we gotta pick out a pan. So, this is my saucepan. I like to use this one because it's the only one that has a lid that fits. Yep. So you need to pick out a pan that has a lid, a tight fitting lid to cook your chicken in. I like non-stick because it's just easier cleanup and I like easy things. So a pan that's gonna fit your chicken breast that has a tight lid. You're gonna set it here on your stove on medium high let it heat up and when it's pretty hot you're going to put one tablespoon of butter or oil in the pan my pan is hot medium high so i'm going to add my butter go in there swirl that around i'm going to immediately put this on medium and i'm going to add the chicken breast Cook for one minute. It looks like a heart. One minute is up now. So I'm going to flip my chicken breast. Put on the lid. Turn it down to low and set the timer for 10 minutes. During those 10 minutes, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're not going to peek on it. That's the secret. You don't lift that lid. Where's my chicken? I got like 30 seconds left. So during the 10 minutes, you do nothing. You just let it cook on low. Don't do anything else. Timer says it's done. It's done. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to move my chicken off the burner and I'm going to turn that annoying noise off. Actually, I have to set it again. So then you're going to set another timer for 10 minutes. Again, keep the lid on. Don't touch it. 10 minutes is up. Now you can take the lid off. So here's your chicken. We can put it on a cutting board now. I did put it on a clean cutting board because the cutting board you used before has chicken juice on it, raw chicken juice, so you don't want to use the same cutting board. So a new cutting board for your chicken, it's going to be so good. So I'm just going to slice it up now, it's done. And that's it guys, that's how you cook chicken to make sure that it's still moist, flavorful, not chewy, not dry, and chicken you actually want to eat. You can use that type of chicken in so many recipes. 
If you need help with what to eat, how much to eat, you know that you can always reach out to me and I'll help you, give you all the recipes, all the tools you need to be successful and reach your goals deliciously, like this delicious chicken. Reach out to me if you need more help and enjoy your chicken, guys.